Hi everyone, I'm here at the Center for Continuing Education of Osteopathy and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the upcoming Cranial Osteopathy courses, our Cranial Osteopathy certification, and whether or not these courses are a good fit for you depending on what your goal is in your practice. My name is Maureen Hanamahar. I'm the Educational Director for the Center for Continuing Education of Osteopathy and I'm also the instructor for the Cranial Osteopathy courses that we offer to manual practitioners throughout the world, but more specifically coming up in Toronto in the month of May. So our certification program is designed in three parts. Our course coming up in May will be part one, which is Introduction to the Fundamentals of Cranial Osteopathy and Craniosacral Therapy. So why do we call it Introduction to the Fundamentals? Because this is for students who have never studied a biomechanical, tangible uh, approach to cranial osteopathy as designed and taught to us by Dr. Sutherland who was the originator of cranial osteopathy. It's based in biomechanics which means that you're going to learn the location of each bone, the sutures, how the cranial mechanism works, how the venous sinus system drains, how you can go about treating and correcting and balancing the cranial mechanism in order to be able to re provide relief for your patients in a very tangible, scientific, anatomically, biomechanically based way. Sometimes people ask us, what's the difference between our courses and some more craniosacral or courses that they might have taken with Upledger? So you should know that the Upledger Institute is more energetically based. If you're looking for an approach that is more based on mechanics and science, more tangible, palpable results, and a vocabulary and approach that is universal to osteopaths throughout the world and cranial osteopathy in treating specific medical conditions such as migraines, TMJ, vestibular disorders, sinusitis, very specific medical conditions that are manifesting within the cranium can be effectively treated if you learn the fundamentals and the anatomy and physiology of the cranial mechanism and how it works and moves together. So part one was going to give you an overview introduction of anatomy. You can't get around the anatomy, you have to learn the fundamentals. You'll learn how the mechanism works how to evaluate it and how to be able to treat it in a very global and general fashion. Now global and general treatment can have a lot of applications. So whereas part one doesn't necessarily prepare you to be able to be an expert on very specific conditions, you'll learn that in the advanced cranial pathology series. Learning to be able to have an effect on the cranial mechanism in order to activate it and in order to balance it can go a long way with any patient that you have that needs to have their energy restored, who is suffering from being stuck as a result of any type of physical injury or trauma, where the body is not healing, where they need indirect treatment to the pelvis because, for instance, there might have been an injury and the person is still in a shock state. You need to take a very gentle approach to try to trigger the body to go into healing. This is what you're going to take away from in Part 1 Introduction Course in May in Toronto. Part 2, Continuing Fundamentals, is going to teach you the different patterns of cranial dysfunction. This course is a bridge in order to get deeper into understanding what's happening with the cranium so that if you decide to move on to Part 3 and take any one of our seminars in our Advanced Cranial Pathology series, you will learn in Part 2 the different cranial patterns of dysfunction, the bones of the face, how they articulate and move together, and so that you start being able to identify pathologies. In Part 3 of our series, we have different individual courses that are two to three days long. You can take all of them or just one of them. They work together in order to prepare you to learn how to treat things like the entire vestibular system, vertigo, sinus infections, upper cervical misalignments that are causing migraines, congestion headaches, how to improve drainage for any type of congestion problem, um, different dental procedures and how they can have an effect on the cranium and being able to restore the side effects of that, sinusitis, 
TMJ, different problems of the eyes and the face. So we're getting into much more advanced and specific pathologies as we work our way through the program. Now that doesn't mean that the part one, our intro to the fundamentals of cranial osteopathy course, cannot give you something that you can't take away to your practice. In fact, it will give you generalized knowledge so that you can apply in a generalized way for any one of your patients that need triggered healing. And we'll get more into detail in that in the course. So I hope you'll join us later on in May in Toronto. Feel free to email us if you have any questions and you'll see down in the links below. It'll take you to the website where you can read more about the courses in detail, the dates, and register. So I hope to see you in Toronto and I hope that you'll learn cranial osteopathy with me and the Center for Continuing Education of Osteopathy.